What if you could sail in a nearly perfect straight line for almost 20,000 miles, from the coast of Pakistan to the icy shores of Russia, without hitting land? On a flat map, that line looks like a massive curve. In reality, that curved path is the straightest sailable line on planet Earth. So how can a line that looks bent be straight? The problem is that you can't flatten a globe without distorting it. The common Mercator maps we all use get shapes and distances wrong over long stretches. A truly straight line on a sphere is called a great circle route, the shortest distance between two points. This incredible 20,000-mile path wasn't a lucky guess. Physicists Rohan Chabukswar and Kushal Mukherjee used computer algorithms to confirm that this journey from Pakistan to Russia is the longest, straightest shot you can sail on water. It's a line so precise it barely shaves past a few small islands. Your journey would start on the coast of Pakistan, at a port town called Sonmiani. From there, you'd sail south, threading the needle between the east coast of Africa and the island of Madagascar. After crossing the Indian Ocean, you enter the vast, empty expanse of the South Atlantic. For weeks, the nearest scrap of land is thousands of miles away. After the lonely calm of the Atlantic, the voyage enters its most legendary stage, the Southern Ocean and the infamous Drake Passage. Here, the Antarctic circumpolar current flows around the globe with no land to stop it, creating what some call the most powerful convergence of seas on Earth. The winds here regularly scream past 60 miles per hour, and the waves can swell to over 65 feet. But the waves aren't the only thing trying to kill you. This is iceberg territory. Colossal chunks of ice, broken off from Antarctica, drift like silent assassins, capable of ending the journey in an instant. If you survive the Southern Ocean, the path finally arcs northeast, running up the entire staggering length of the Pacific. After weeks more at sea, the final destination would slowly come into view, the desolate, frozen landscape of the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia's far east. It's a fittingly stark end to one of the most grueling hypothetical voyages on the planet. So, this 20,000-mile path is far more than just a geographic fun fact. It's a reminder that the world is still full of mysteries hiding in plain sight, and that the straightest path is almost never the easiest one. It represents the ultimate challenge of seamanship and endurance, a journey into the most unforgiving environments our world has to offer.